As spring arrives, colors and flavors start trending towards being brighter. The color yellow and the flavor of lemon, for example. I thought this would make a nice theme for a springtime photo. I've got some Lemon Girl Scout cookies to use as props. I didn't even know they made lemon flavored cookies. I've always gone for the thin mints and never looked beyond those. Since the window light can have some pretty dark shadows, I'm setting up my flash to bounce light from the ceiling. To complete the yellow spring theme, I'm scattering some blooms from my forsythia bushes around the cup. One final detail of a lemon slice in the tea. Since the lemon slice doesn't want to stay in the center where I would like it to be, I'm going to take a base photo without the lemon slice so I can move things around later in Photoshop. Big things are happening in the kitchen today. My aging wall oven is being replaced by a new one. This wall oven is a combination of a microwave up top, which even has some oven features like a broiler, and a convection oven below. I don't have time to play with it today, but before I get back to my computer tasks, I'm going to take a quick walk around my yard to enjoy the blooms.
making a smoothie for breakfast today. I don't usually have smoothies this time of year because I'm cold enough as it is and an ice cold smoothie will have me shivering for a long time afterward. This morning, however, I thought a berry smoothie would be delicious and I needed to use up the frozen berry packs in my freezer. I bought this Vitamix as a gift to myself when I moved into this house and I have been enjoying it every day since. of my daffodils have bloomed so I'm going to clip them and bring them inside. They are such a cheerful flower. I'm going to try out some of the fancy features this new microwave has. It has a crisper pan that you preheat for a few minutes, then add some fresh vegetables to it and run the microwave a little bit longer, and you've got stir-fried vegetables. I also used it to toast some pecans. Supper tonight is a pasta salad with roasted asparagus and toasted pecans. might notice I've skipped a day in the video. Yesterday, the 21st, I was very tired and I did not record any video or take a photo for my daily photo project. On days when I'm tired, which are most days, I try to at least find a photo that doesn't require any setup or a lot of mental commitment to create. But even that wasn't happening yesterday, so I have to take two photos today. Since I really enjoyed the daffodil and tea photo I took last week, I wanted to do something simpler like that again with different props. I'll be using my umbrella as my main light and I'll put my second flash behind my setup to fill in any shadows the umbrella creates.
When I do photos like this, most of the time is spent walking back and forth to the camera, checking and adjusting my flash exposure, and trying again. I need to get it right before I actually pour the tea. I've also changed my shirt to something I thought would look nicer in the photo. Supper tonight is French onion soup. As the name suggests, the recipe calls for a lot of onions. It's a good thing chopping onions doesn't bother me that much. I'm going to use supper as an opportunity to take my second photo. idea to photograph the onions as I'm dumping them into the pan. I'm using my flash to freeze the motion and a higher shutter speed to give me a dark background.
I've spent most of the day editing and I'm ready to make myself a treat. I came across a recipe for edible cookie dough and I thought I'd give it a try. Edible cookie dough does require baking the flour to kill any bacteria contained in it, so that's what I'm doing now. Once the flour is baked, all I need to do is measure a few ingredients and mix everything together. I'll link the recipe I used in the description if you want to give it a try. I've got to say, this dough was so good. Of course, I've got to make this my photo of the day. I'm using my cookie scoop to give the dough balls a crinkly texture. This texture really makes them look as delicious as they are. If I were to just photograph a bowl of dough or roll the dough balls smooth with my hands, they would not look as appetizing. I've spent the day working on a painting for a friend. This was a photo she took of the harness racehorse staying together, affectionately known as Stanley. He passed away in 2019 and he was one of her favorite horses. After that, the spring evening was beckoning me and I had to go visit my blooms.
Thanks for joining me this week and I hope to see you back.